Thank you for coming. It's a big day. For me, anyway. So, uh, what would you like to do? <laughs> because, uh, now the thing is that a few months ago my management company asked me would I like to do a signing at HMV in Oxford Street on release day and I said yes I would love to. And then they said, would you like to play some songs? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not am I going to play some songs because no one is going to be impressed with me going plinkety plinkety plink strumty strumty strum and croaking my way through a few of my tunes so i said no way and here we are <laughs> okay so i'm gonna go plinkety plinkety plink strumty strumty strum and try and play some songs from the new record and you're gonna help me by being very positive and very vibey okay <laughs> Thank you, yes, enthusiasm. We respond very well to enthusiasm. Yes, okay, so uh, these songs are so new that I still have the lyrics written out here, rather lamely. Okay, so we're going to start a couple of songs on the piano. Now, I've got to just warn you, I'm going to be concentrating so hard on playing an instrument that I don't really know how to play, I'm going to ignore you for the first two songs. Okay? I'm just going to be concentrating really, 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 really hard. Okay? Later on, we'll, we'll enjoy ourselves a bit more. But right now, I just have to get in the zone. Okay. This first song we're going to do, I'm going to do, is called Refuge. Here we go. Enthusiasm.
I'd love to see you again sometime soon. But will you give back to me now what you stole? Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, one more song with the piano, then I can relax. Uh, this is, uh, you can clap along to this one if you like. That's not something you hear at my shows very often, is it? This is a bit pop. I have to sing falsetto a lot. On this album, actually, I sing a lot of falsetto for the first time, I think, in my career. So I'm kind of getting used to having to do that live for the first time, really. And uh, this is another hard one. I'm making a lot of excuses tonight. <laughs> okay, so this is permanating. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. This is where it gets a bit more 
fun for me and relaxing. Uh, not least reason which being that I'm able now to introduce a consummate professional to the stage. Please welcome the very wonderful Ninette. Come on, Ninette. Yeah. You know, I started the week with about 20 plectrums, and every single thing we've done this week, the fucking people in the front row have nicked on the fucking... Dave, I've got no plectrums. I've got a pig. Got a pig. Got a pig. Anyone got a pig? Yeah. I had one in sound check. Hang on to the I've got a bag of them. No. <laughs> Backstage is stocky. Has anyone got a pig? Seriously. Yeah. Uh, chuck it over here. We're so professional, aren't we? <laughs> okay, so just while I'm putting myself back together here. So this song we've played a lot this week. In fact, we did it this morning at about 5 a.m. in Berlin on a breakfast show. And uh, that was a very, very surreal experience. To be surrounded by little German ladies eating croissants. No idea who we were. Okay, I think the Pink Floyd collection's gonna do it. Okay, so, um, so this is Pariah in a minute.
Cause nothing really dies Nothing really is The first song I wrote for this new album, To The Bone, was a uh, song we're going to play for you next. And it was written uh, November 2015, just after the Bataclan incident. And it was written specifically about the phenomenon of living next door to someone who does an impersonation of a regular human being, but turns out to be someone full of hatred and prejudice. And it struck me that very often when you see that this is kind of very topical at the moment with what's happening in what's happened in Barcelona the last 24 hours, there is a phenomenon that you see sometimes on the news coverage after these terrorist incidents that they will go and interview the people who live next door or across the across the street or across the hallway from these terrorists, and they always say the same thing, something like, "Well, he would always help me in with my shopping. He would smile at me on the stairway as we passed. He seemed like such a nice." normal, gentle person. So I wanted to write this song about this phenomenon, about living next door to public enemy number one. And this is a song called People Who Eat Darkness. Here we go. You ready, Anne? Tech for Prince, okay, oh. and Francis Rossi, oh. <laughs> so he's going to just prove his metal here. Drum solo. <laughs> So, uh, just while Dave is doing that, and hopefully he's going to do it really quick, uh, I, as you know, I'm going to be signing stuff out there later on, and uh, I just want to tell you that I don't want to be signing my entire back catalogue for anyone to, because there were a few German fans, and my, back, my entire back catalogue is significant. <laughs> I'm not just talking about my solo albums, I'm talking about... No Man, Porcupine Tree, yeah. Bass Communion, IEM, Storm Corrosion, da di da di. I think there was someone that had about 130 different records. And he was about third in a queue of about 300 people. You know, it's like when you go to the bank and someone's cashing in about five years worth of 10 PP's coins. So it's kind of like the equivalent of that. So has anyone brought their entire collection tonight? Good. 
<laughs> iPod, that's like an antique nowadays, isn't it? I'm very, I'm very happy to smash it for it, there's no use to her anymore. <laughs> Has it still got some music on it? Anything incriminating? <laughs> How are we doing, Dave? Sounds like we're almost there. <laughs> is a lord. Is anyone else here a lord? Do you know you can buy like a sort of six foot, where is it like? Yeah, there's a, piece of, there's a place in Scotland where you can buy, you got a hundred square feet of that. How much did you buy me? You bought me a lordship. How much? I bought you a foot square. A foot. <laughs> <laughs> but I am a lord. <laughs> Genuinely a lord, yeah. <laughs> All bow down. Okay, I think we're going to have another go. Okay, Doug, we can put me back on, right? All right, here we go. People who eat dogs. to lose 
So now your chickens are coming home to roost.